you two what it do man it is your boy abdul up next and i'm back with another video today man yes sirski man and, and today the video that we got i ain't gonna lie i'm bringing y'all this video at 12 o'clock in the morning i'm recording this at 12 but today we're watching a video called things that we all hated about school we don't even gotta watch a video for that I think I would rather do the talking. I could go on forever about everything I hate about school. But I pulled up a little bit sharp, you know what I'm saying? I went I went leather fur on them. What y'all think about the drip? And look, it's all black, but you know we got that Rick Owens inside, though. I ain't gonna lie. I got it from Dillard's, but it's looking like Rick Owens today. And you won't believe what I got inside this. Oh. Oh, wrong thing. Ah! I'm pulling out things out my sleeve for real. Three, two, one. All I'm saying is you better not forget nothing because y'all know how quick I'll be quick to pause the video and get to talking because I can go on for years. Eight minutes? Nah, this might be a 30-minute video when I'm done raging. Well, as we all know, I think it's safe to say that school is trash, all right? Like, I don't think there's really any debate for that. That topic is not up for debate whatsoever. But here are some of the things that we just all hated about school in general. First, we got to start off with the fact that you got to raise your hand, bro. Like, a Raise your hand is not even one thing, bro. Raise your hand? How about the fact I gotta be up there at 8 in the morning? How about the fact I gotta wake up out my sleep every day just to get to class to ask a dude if I can use the bathroom? How about that? Let's talk about that. I gotta ask a dude to use the bathroom. To be able to just get up and go to the and bathroom. And then they tell me no! Actually, teacher, can I go use the bathroom? Like, I should be able to go. That's a basic human right. The fact that I'm being deprived of that is making me think that I'm in a prison. Like, come on now. I mean, now that I think about it, everything correlates. The food's trash. We gotta raise our hand or ask permission to go anywhere. I don't know, man. I think I'm- Nah, I think in prison, they don't even ask to go use the bathroom, man. They don't get suspended for taking booty in prison. I'm getting cheeks under the stairwell. I'm getting suspended. Under something. But now, nah, why do I gotta raise my hand to go somewhere? I really gotta make a whole ass scene when I'm going to the bathroom. That's crazy. Exactly. And and take that dirty when pass. The teacher doesn't see you. If they're just casually going about your lecture and your hand's been up in the air for like ages. At that point, I'm just going to the bathroom. Screw what they say. I don't even want to be bothered trying to wait for them to actually look at me. There's no point, bro. Especially there was a point where I actually went to the bathroom without asking and I had to sit in ISS for three days in elementary school. It'd be times where I have my hand up to ask the teacher a question and they will ignore me the whole time. Then ask for hands, then choose somebody else. They really was on my day. They really didn't like me. It took me to get to 20 years old to realize how bad my teachers really didn't like me. If I really gotta go after burrito day at lunch, bro. Like if it, she just let me sit there, it wouldn't be Burrito good. day at lunch and you ate really it? That's the real problem. To smell like an Arby's. That's crazy. Next up, we got homework. Homework. Whoever invented homework has to be on another type of evil, bro. I don't know who enjoys homework. Um, actually, I love homework. It retrains your knowledge. Bro, if everybody hate homework, then why y'all be the first people to tell the teacher, oh, don't forget to take up the homework? Why? I thought everybody hated homework. Every time I'm in class, there's at least one person that says, um, did you forget to take up the homework that you assigned yesterday? I'm like, I didn't even know she assigned that homework. Damn it! She didn't even know she assigned that homework, and you asking her to pick it up. Shut the- I'm not trying to do more school when I get home. I already did seven hours of school for the day. I'm practically tapped out. I'm hanging up the hat. It's over. And if I do, my brain's just gonna- I'm just trying to play the game, bro. And if I like, do, can I at least get some time like to beat my meat, something, at bro? Night, I'm gonna be overstimulating myself with knowledge, and it's not even like, gonna happen. Like, damn, how you giving all this homework, bro? Can I get some time to go on Instagram? Can I get some time to watch YouTube? Something? They- Every teacher want to assign homework at the same time! Now, next up, we got the classes, of course. A lot of the classes were useless. I mean, sometimes gym class was fun, but sometimes we really had to do, like, a shit ton of push-ups and conditioning, <laughs> and it was just really annoying. I'm a high school Bruh, nah, graduate, I ain't and gonna I can lie, say I'll that take a whole bunch of push-ups in PE versus social studies any day. Any day. Hey, she say do 20 push-ups, I'ma do it. But they, they, I gotta spend time in history and learn about Paul Revere. Man, Paul Revere died... 3,000 years ago, and I'm still learning about what he did. Then we get to PE, and people be trying hard on everything. Bro, why are you trying so hard on a fitness gram? This dude's trying to do the most push-ups, run the fastest, all of that. You just look corny. You look corny. The classes I haven't even used in my entire life. Personally, I really don't see a point in taking geometry. Like, seriously, I, I don't get Nah, the geometry is We need to learn some goofy-ass formulas. Like, what the hell is this? Or calculate? Geometry is stupid. They got me solving for how much space is inside the triangle. 
how much space is inside the triangle. Is a hexagon going to teach me how to get some money? Because I got the IRS trying to invade me right now. And I ain't never learned about no IRS till I got 20 years old. Why you ain't teach me about something I was actually going to use? It's like, fuck calculus. Like, seriously, it got to a point where math was in a. I don't know what is the language. worst subject, oh, though. might as well have been hieroglyphic. Next one we got... Maybe yeah, social this one, studies. This one's really specific, but it's definitely happened to all of us. Where the teacher bends down to help another student and her fucking ass is in your face. Nah, you're crazy for that. I'm not trying to look at some old lady... Ass is ass, man. Now, when the teacher bends over in the face, when I was in elementary school, I remember one friend showing me him sniffing the teacher's butt after they did that. And I looked at him like, what did you just do? Like, was I supposed to call him cool? He was like, yo, yo, dude, watch this. The teacher's helping a student like these. And my man went and said, I'm like, bro, nah, nah. That's when I knew I went to a strange school. See some of y'all in the comments that say, hear me out? Nah, you down bad for real. And why would she always take forever too? Like I had to just awkwardly look at my desk and, and look at the drawings and beautiful art that people created. Wow, this is a nice I would pull out my phone, maybe. Plant on my desk. Interesting. And who the fuck is that? Speaking had the of eggplant, my shit be rising when I peep the teacher period. look. That's crazy. But yeah, man, it really when goes to show teacher, that school's boring as fuck, and we'd much rather be doing anything else. Next up for certain, we can say the food, bro. What the hell? Like Prison what kind of food. Mute Niggas getting shit turds for lunch, boy. What the hell is that? <laughs> niggas getting served shit turds. Y'all niggas getting served dog shit for lunch. I ain't gonna lie. That shit look like straight dookie. You eat that, you just fat. Dog. I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that school lunch, it doesn't even look edible. And it's worse than prison food. Oh, God. It's worse than prison food. They eat hibachi in prison, bro. And the worst thing was is that the lunch ladies would always force you to take a fruit for a side. And then when you look at the options that are available, they'd all be rotten as hell. So you just end up in the trash anyway. So what's the big deal? There's no point. That shit looked dirty as hell, bro. Ain't no way they washed it. So we truly were being fed garbage. So I just decided to bring my own lunch in middle school. And I said, fuck school food. And you know what? I was so much happier with my packed lunch. I didn't give a shit about pizza day or anything because it's not not like they would get it from Lil Caesars. They would use like some doodle -doo ass. Nah, what's even worse about that dollar for a slice pizza day overrated ass shit in school that you would only get if you got good grades? That shit overrated. For one, I remember in sixth grade at the end of every month, if you had a certain amount of class dojo points, you would be able to get the, the pizza party. I ain't never was in that bitch. I used to be in the other room with the funny niggas laughing. I might not have had no pizza, but y'all know damn well them pizzas was cut. They would order an eight count pizza and cut it into 16 pieces. Like we got the wake up times. Why the fuck do I gotta wake up at 6 a.m. just to go to a doo doo ass school, bro? That's crazy. And sometimes it was before 6 a.m., which is crazy. I guess people could argue. If you have oh, to wake up for school before 6 a.m., nigga, you're not waking up for school. You're waking up to go to hell. Damn, five. You wake. Comment right now what time you wake up for school. You're not even in the prison no more. You in the military, nigga. Getting you ready for the working world. I mean, I guess some jobs require you to get up that early, but most jobs don't. And some people have late night shifts, so they have to stay up really late. So why make school early? I don't know. My school day started at 7.15, bro. 7.15? Why does your school start at 7.15, so bro? My school started at 8. And if the bus wasn't there on time, that was on me that I was late, which was really fucking annoying. So once I got my license, you bet your ass I drove to school. Because the bus is definitely the next thing that we all hate about school. Are you... Driving to school is something I wish I did. If you drive to school and have no bitches, you're just trash. You're supposed to be a demon if you drive to school. Man, COVID had ended my school at the end of 11th grade when I was getting my license. And in 12th grade, I didn't have a senior year because of COVID. That was supposed to be my prime. Are you fucking kidding me? You was trying to sit on a musty ass yellow Twinkie for an hour. And I'm glad I never have to do that shit again, personally. Because some people would just be on your head for no reason. Like sometimes you just get flamed. There'd be roast battles happening oh, in the God, back of the bus. Oh God, you just get flamed. Feeling shit back there, anything. And the me last personally, thing you want to be a part of is the bus. bus. Niggas used to just mention, make terroristic the bus driver threats. sounded like they smoked a pack of goddamn menthol cigarettes every day. And every time the kids on the back of the bus would be loud, it would only increase my headache when the bus driver was like, Hey, you kids need to. The, the fuck up on the back of the I actually got expelled from the bus in 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 ninth grade. I was never allowed to ride the bus again. But that's a story for another day.
it would only make my headache worse, bro. Like, it, it was not helping. Next up, we got teachers that were just ops, bro. Of course, we hated this part of school. Like, seriously, of course, there's really every teacher no can get fucked by me. No cap. Like, come on. Yo, yeah. And they're really out here doing the most to try to be your worst enemy in school, bro. Like, I'm oh, not trying to have beef with an old head. That's crazy. But apparently, they want the smoke for whatever reason. I don't know. So let's go, bro. I'm not letting anything fight, slide. Bro. I want all the smoke then. Throw these garbage ass assignments at me. Do whatever the hell you want to handicap my grade. But, bro, I'm still passing your class. I'll find a way. I'll do what I can. Everything I don't know how. To never see your bitch. I was doing everything in my power to pass the class and also beefing with the teacher at the same time, and they made sure I failed. You know you you know that you're failing because you beefing with the teacher when you failing shit like ROTC. I was failing JROTC. I was failing French. My mom speaks French, nigga. I've been cheating on every assignment. How the fuck did I fail? That's again, bro. And it's crazy that these dudes think they're like elite level bosses. Bro, you literally are in a school. I'm just gonna say it now. They be bitching so hard like they're about they to get a what's it called? Their job like too. a raise. I don't know why they would settle for that. The only thing they like about it is they have power over kids. Yo, that's weird. We don't need a pause after that. Next up, we R got Kelly. bullies and like these douchey popular now, kids. Now, before we Fuck. talk about how these... Before we talk about these popular kids, we must talk about these asshole teachers who be acting like they finna get a raise for being such an asshole. I had a teacher literally email my mom every week. The French teacher. And I didn't even get it because I would only use my phone. I didn't have any friends in that class. I was in ninth grade. Everybody in that class was in 11th. Nobody fucked with me. And bro, they really think they're above you just because they're higher on the social hierarchy than you are. And once high school's over, their popularity's never gonna see the light of day again. So I don't know why the fuck they're right. out here thinking they're like... Only thing I got a problem with is the bitches that think they all that. I'm over it. I, some of them used to just push me out the way in the hallway when I'm just standing there. Bitch wouldn't even let me get into TikTok. I wanted the Corvette, Corvette too. Ooh, shit. There's no need to pick on someone who's lower on the social hierarchy. Like, there's no fucking point. If anything, that just makes you look pathetic. That you're trying to assert yourself as dominant in a high school. I mean, we're all in the same place, for God's sake. We're just trying to get through the shit at the end of the day. Even if they were a first Crab barrel mentality. I guess you do you. I think it's weird personally, but I'm just gonna mind my business. There's really no point in starting beef. Like, why? I wanna so talk to a furry. I just wanna see where their brain is at. The test did not assess knowledge whatsoever. It was kind of just like how good you are at testing taking that's really all it measured and obviously if gen z's got the attention span of a goldfish a lot of us are not good test takers myself included if i can't even pay attention to myself recording a video ain't no way am i a good test taker that's just not <laughs> happening and plus I'm you know the funniest thing about tests bro bro i knew this school shit wasn't for me when i started guessing on the standardized test i'm like bro i give up i'm gonna make it in youtube anyways but i swear to god i was um I used to take the stand, bro, I, my first time failing the standardized test was fifth grade. They made me retake the math. I still ain't told my mom that. I asked my brother to sign it when they asked for parent garden signatures. Bro, these standardized tests, is some bullshit. And then on top of that, I ain't never passed one. I don't even know how the fuck I, bro, I'm telling you, bro, it used to be in eighth grade. I'm just like, bro, I don't even know how the fuck I'm making it to high school. I'm failing this shit. This test would be held on Saturdays, bro. Like, nah, bro, I'm trying to enjoy my weekend. And not to mention, just tests in general were really annoying. A lot of teachers wouldn't even give you, like, a study guide or just, like, an idea of what the study is. I'm just still like, not nope, studying the study own. guide. And they'd Talk say, like, yeah, just study the entire year's not worth doing of that. material in one night. Like, how am I even study supposed guide. to do that? At that point, the I'm just going to cheat and risk it all. Fuck. I'm not gonna be able to remember that knowledge all in one night. There's no way. Next up, we got teachers' pets. Oh my god. I don't know what it was about. You teachers' pets, y'all bitch made. Before he speak, you bitch paid. How you laughing at a teacher's joke? I should have laughed. If I could go back to high school, all the teachers that thought they was funny, oh boy, I'm laughing. Because maybe that would have upped my grade a little two points. I had a 68, nigga. I needed two points. I'm gonna laugh at the jokes. These teachers' pets, I'll give it to y'all. Y'all was a few steps ahead. But not only were y'all a few steps ahead, but you sold your soul. You was kissing dumb ass. That's why I would just keep my mouth shut. I'm not trying to get shoved in a locker. And speaking of lockers, yeah, that's definitely next, bro. Who in their right mind is gonna sit there and be like, yeah, man, I really love the amount of space we get in our lockers. We were supposed to carry all these big ass books, but we get these small ass lockers. It made I was no walking sense. around school with my book bag anyway, so I can't lie. Get their stuff, the lockers would just be crammed, and there was no way I was even able to get to my locker. So yeah, these That's so true. School were just really and then niggas be in the way trying to Mac. Look, man, I respect niggas in school trying to Mac, but if you're trying to Mac in front of my locker, come on. You gotta move. Niggas be in front of the locker trying to crack jokes. 
Bro, the bitches can laugh at your joke in the classroom, bro. Dang. Get out the way. That's why I just kept my book bag on my back the whole day. Because I'm not carrying seven books. That's the end of the video, though, man. Damn. I had fun, bro. Y'all hit the like button on this video. Look, shout out these four people right here who did hit the like button on this video. Four people get a shout out at the end of every video by hitting the like button. You want a shout out? Hit the like button and let me know that you did in the comment section. I choose four different people every video, man. Follow my Instagram. Join the Discord. I got merch on the way. Actually, clothing brand on the way. Yes, Sershki, it's on the way. So y'all let me know if y'all excited for that, man. I'll see you guys soon.